Hey loves, it's Britt and today I want to talk about the moon conjunct the north node in the Sinistry chart. So when one person's moon is making a conjunction with the other person's north node. So this is a really beautiful aspect to have. I really feel like this is one of good karma where the moon person has really come to help the north node person get on their soul's path. So the north node in the astrology chart represents where our soul is pulling us and where it might be uncomfortable or unnatural at first to be in that energy. It is what we must do. It is what the highest level of growth and potential in our life is shown by. So the moon represents the most natural habitual responses and that part of us that we just are without even thinking about just our emotional reactions and spontaneous energy. So the moon person by just being who they naturally are without even trying naturally helps the north node person get on their soul's path and they really both help each other out a lot. The moon person feels very understood, um, very emotionally supported, and very safe with the North Node nor, Node person. <laughs> Sorry. And this is my third video today. I'm like talking, talking so much. So there's a lot of comfort and stability. And I actually have this aspect with my dad. And um, my dad has always been a supportive person in my life and I've actually found out through a healing session, um, an intuitive healer said to me that my dad was my guardian, that I chose to come into this lifetime to have this like guardian angel in the form of my actual father, which, you know, not that our relationship was always easy or anything like that, but overall, um, he has been a supportive influence on my life and he also... Um, has helped me in many ways that are spiritual as well. So, and it is his moon on my north node. So that's been definitely very beneficial to have that aspect among other things that are more difficult in the synastry. But this one, it really lends a helping hand in making the people care about each other a lot and have this sense of duty and I mean in a parental role obviously that comes out you have a duty to raise your child right but um in other types of connections though it's like I'm thinking now on the reversal of when it's my moon conjunct someone's north node it's like you just want to see that person live their potential and you want to be a supportive influence you want to be an emotionally nurturing influence um in the qualities of that sign for that person and I really do feel like this is an aspect of good karma. This is like the souls winking at each other, you know, helping each other out. And yeah, the moon person really helping the north node person get what they are supposed to get in this lifetime, but what can be so difficult for them to get. So this person comes in to our lives to help us. And we both help each other um, on our soul path as well, because the moon person is offered that space to just feel safe to express their emotions and be understood and be comforted and be loved and then the north node person is getting pulled toward what they truly came here to do but because it's the moon's influence on the north node I feel like this is actually out of all of the north node aspects in sinistry I feel like the moon's energy is so supportive with the north node that it actually as uncomfortable as moving towards our north node can be when we have the presence of this person in our life our evolution towards our highest potential of the north node is actually so easily and naturally brought out it's this is a lot more comforting than even the sun conjunct the north node or mars or because it's so emotional it's so supportive for the north node person so i i really do feel like yeah, this is a really great aspect to have. You're going to help each other out a lot. I have had this aspect with uh, sort of an unrequited love situation um, where the guy with his moon on my north node 
didn't like me back. Now this is like, oh my god, this is back when I was like 18 years old or, or, yeah, or yeah, 19 years old. So it's not to say that it's always supposed to be a, a long-term relationship. Um, it could be. It definitely wouldn't hinder one. Um, but it could also show just someone who's meant to help you uncover the wisdom of your north node. So my north node in Scorpio in the seventh house is all to do with relationships and love situations and stuff like that too. So that would also make sense that this relationship, even though this man, you know, didn't want me in that way, he did help me get clarity on what I did want in a relationship and the type of person and, you know, heal probably some dad issue or something, right? It was all beneficial. So I really think that, yeah, this is a, a very beneficial aspect to have. It's a very soulmate, soul contract aspect to have. And like I said, you know, I truly feel like my dad is a, a supportive influence on my life and I feel very blessed to have that. I understand it's not that way for everybody. Um, and I, yeah, I really think this aspect lends a helping hand and is positive to look at in this industry. It's definitely soulmate, definitely karmic and definitely healing and nurturing and helping both people. And there's a real comfort and naturalness. And I think there's a level of telepathy too with this aspect where you just get each other and it's very growth oriented, maybe not always easy, but you get each other, you help each other, you, yeah, you can be like a guardian angel on each other's lives and yeah, like a good luck charm maybe for each other too. So I really like this one. That's my personal experience, my personal account of it. Um, really good one to have, I think. And yeah, anything else I want to say? No, I think that's good. That's good. Yeah. So I offer two types of sessions, you guys. I offer a one-on-one -on -one soul purpose session where we go deep into your own natal chart. And then I offer a synastry session as well where we can go into any type of relationship and look at all these aspects um, that are being shown by the two charts. Kate, love you guys. Let me know your thoughts below and let me know if you have any requests for me. Talk soon.